with Joe, I guess, just how's the training been going? Do you feel good going to this next event, Black Hills? Um, well, actually, we got to change that. We're not going to Black Hills this weekend. They're expecting snow, and plus Easter weekend, after just getting back from California, um, we decided that we were going to have this weekend off because it's a short week of classes and that, um, and, and just kind of training too. But uh, where we're at right now is real happy with last week with our performances in California, um, and uh, uh, looking forward to next weekend in Sioux Falls and. Um, just a little shot coming back from the nice weather there to back down to freezing temperatures here, but hopefully at least tomorrow's picking up nice and hopefully we get our early spring. The performances you got, you know, with a couple of the champions there, do you, do you feel that was um, expected or, I mean, was that kind of uh, something that was unexpected maybe or? Um, maybe because we weren't really too sure with going out there what the competition would be like or, or where because, you know, Entries aren't due till the last minute and that, and then they don't send out the heat sheets. So, um, you know, it was nice getting those event winners, uh, but overall, uh, it worked out well for us. I mean, we had, I think, uh, 10 personal bests on Friday at the University of Redlands. Uh, several people uh, were really close to what their personal bests were from last outdoor season. Uh, a couple people definitely ran faster than what they were doing indoors. So that was a really nice start. And then the next day, turning around to uh, Point Loma, um, again, we had, I think, six, six or seven personal bests and uh, people having some uh, good marks, uh, almost equivalent to what they did the day before. Um, so, you know, over, uh, with the turnaround, I mean, we, uh, Redlands, we got, left town there about 9 p.m. It was a two-hour drive back to San Diego. Um, so, you know, get back there at midnight. The throwers, we had throwing events starting at 9 a.m. at Point Loma. So uh, getting out there ahead of time and everything, some of those people only got six, six and a half hours of sleep. Um, but, you know, turning around, I think all the throwers pretty much, some of them had season best that second day. Some of them, um, I think one or two had some personal best, but then the others, the difference in performance was just really, really close. So uh, they, people held up really well. And it went like that too for the other events, running events and jumping events. So uh, it was a really good weekend for us, I, I feel, overall. Good experience. How much weight did that carry, Coach, when you got <coughs> 70 personal bests earlier on a season? Does that have to be exciting to you as a coach that everybody continues to develop? Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, it kind of gives us a good indication where people are starting off. Um, you know, compared to years past, uh, hopefully that means, you know, the training's still a little light or, or training's still going such that they haven't meet, met their peak yet. So hopefully we'll keep increasing the performances and getting better. But it's, it's really nice to be kind of like starting off where you ended the previous year or, you know, starting better than what you started the previous year's uh, performances at. And so pretty much for all the returners, I think we've, we've done that. So um, it's an exciting thing for this uh, season, and hopefully that will bode really well come conference time. How are you doing health-wise? Um, <clears throat> on the trip, we had a couple people that ended up getting sick or were sick going into it or sick now coming out of it. Um, uh, I think uh, it's more sickness. I, uh, people that were dinged up a little bit, uh, sore hamstring or a kind of a tentative hamstring or, or hip problems, those have gotten a lot better. So uh, hopefully we keep, like, keep that up and, and just get rid of those sicknesses and, and help us keep training properly. How about the breakdown of not going to Black Hills and then Sioux Falls next weekend, but do you feel that it's kind of a, a nice to have that little break, um, although it's real early in the season? but. It it is in terms of uh, uh, it gives people, well, it, it, it's a nice break for us after this trip because it was kind of long traveling, Friday, Saturday meets, and then uh, Sunday, Monday, uh, getting back here and everything. Uh, so a lot of people are just kind of hurting a little bit from that traveling, I know I am. Um, but then uh, with it being Easter weekend, and you know people have been going pretty much straight, they didn't get a spring break like in the past, so it, it's kind of providing people with that family time to get home and see family for the holiday. Um, and uh, 
just providing a little bit of downtime. You know, we'll, everybody will leave, or people that are going away uh, will have workouts to do, and hopefully they do them. But uh, hopefully it's also more of a relaxed setting for them for getting them in and, and uh, coming back on Monday and ready to hit, back, hit it with the rest of the outdoor season.